On guard, senor. Fight, weakling. Fight, coward. Fight. <laughs> that for robbing a poor man of his bread. Look, senor. On the forehead. The mark of Zorro. <laughs> The Adventures of Zorro, the mysterious black mask rider who slashes his mark on all that is evil. The letter Z for Zorro, champion of the poor and the oppressed. California, the turn of the 18th century. In the little pueblo of Reina de Los Angeles, the plaza resounds with carefree laughter and the sweet romantic melodies of old Spain. Yes, it is fiesta time in Reina de Los Angeles, and there's food and wine aplenty, and dancing, and romance. Soldier, watch out! Make way for Captain Raymond! But even Look in the midst of their me. merrymaking, the inhabitants of Los Angeles are reminded that theirs is not the lot of a free people. The poor and wealthy landowners alike fear the wicked politicians sent to rule them by the king of Spain. Even now, a fearful silence falls on the crowd as the dreaded Captain Ramon approaches with his sergeant, Pedro Gonzalez, and the soldiers. Between them walks a priest, the beloved Padre Felipe, a captive. One side, scum. Out of my way, dogs. Oh, oh. That will teach you imbeciles to keep out of my way. Quiet them down, Sergeant Gonzalez, so we can start the trial. Quiet, you sons of the devil! Quiet! I mean, quiet! <laughs> He's throwing up! Mayor Martian got smell. Enough, Sergeant. A man is here to be tried for swindling an honest citizen. Not the father. Heaven have mercy. You, Raul Santos, take your case against Padre Felipe. Santos, an honest citizen? <laughs> By your leave, Excellency, I went to the hacienda this Padre manages, Excellency, and purchased ten hides from him. Did I not, Padre? Yes, my son. See, Excellency, he admits the truth. Yes, yes, go on. After paying him and taking the hides away, I found they had not been cured properly. I returned to the hacienda and told the Padre as much, but he refused to give me back my money. Is that not so, Padre? Well, Padre... What have you to say to this man's accusation? The hides were good. I told him I would return the money when he returned the hides. They were spoiled. They were rotten. They caused such a stench I had to burn them. So you deny this, Padre? It will do me no good to deny it. I already am found guilty and sentenced. <laughs> if I were a follower of a dishonest governor instead of a robed Franciscan monk, the hides would have been good. You speak treason. I speak truth. This is but another injustice. Silence, beggar. Yes, beggar. You began by taking our mission lands from us. Lands cultivated by the Franciscan monks. You robbed us of our worldly goods, and not content with that, you are now persecuting us. Silencio! So you speak the truth, eh? Because a man wears a robe, he thinks he can rob without punishment, does he? In this case, I deem it proper to make an example of the Padre, because he dares to take advantage of his calling. He will repay Raul Santos the price of the hide. And uh, for this window, he shall receive across his back 15 lashes. Sergeant Gonzalez, take him to the whipping post. Oh, no. The crowd is hushed as the good Padre is led away. There is only one with the courage to champion his cause. The beautiful Lolita Peruzo who, with her wealthy suitor, Don Diego Vega, has watched this bitter travesty on justice. Oh, Don Diego, you must stop them. I, senorita? Yes, yes, you are his friend. They will listen to you. Well, thank you for the compliment, senorita. But Capitan Ramon would hardly listen to my poor words. Oh, but he will. He respects the name of Vega, your wealth, and your father's influence with the governor. But the Capitan's word is law. <laughs> I cannot raise my hand against him. Besides, you know how I dislike any kind of violence. Don Diego Vega, you have the courage of a, a, a mosquito. Where is the fighting blood that flowed in the veins of your ancestors? You do me a great injustice, Senorita. Just because I, I would rather consort with the poets and writers of books than fight, 
I am still an honorable man. Why would you be less honorable and, and more of a man? Oh, come, senorita. Enough of this. Let us go listen to the music. Oh, but the padre, he is an old man and he wears the robe of yes, God. Yes, Surely yes, you... it is sad. But these are violent times, senorita. Then you will not have Padre Felipe. It would be useless. Very well, then. I will go myself. Why not see us, senor? Wait, senorita. I... I... I believe she is displeased with me. As the angry Lolita walks away, Don Diego strolls leisurely toward the sound of the music. Then suddenly, making sure that no one sees him, he streaks to his father's house. He emerges seconds later enveloped in a dark cloak, his face hidden by a stern black mask. We must hurry, my beauty. Hurry, Blanco. We must save the Padre. Faster, Blanco. Faster. I harder, Sergeant Gonzalez. Harder. The Padre must be made to pay for his crime. Take oh. Heaven. Oh. It's... Oh. So, the Padre is too proud to cry out. I will show you my fight. Stop! In the name of justice! Who is this man who would obstruct the law? Senor Zorro, Captain. Zorro. Zorro, the fox. Yes, Captain, the fox. And you would be wise not to make me bare my teeth. Release Padre Felipe. Release him? <laughs> Rather, we would tie you to the post beside him. Continue, Sergeant. See, si, Captain. <laughs> Senor Zorro! Don't unpass the Padre, Sergeant. Or I'll run you through with this blade. No, no, please, good thing you saw. I have done nothing. I, I, I am only a poor man who obeys all. Silence, idiot, and do as I say. By the saints, this joke has gone far enough. It is no joke, Comandante. Unless perhaps the point of my sword can make you laugh. Uh, you shall pay for this, senor. Come, padre. On my horse, in front of me. May the saints bless you, my son. Comandante, I have no time to even scores with you now. But the day will come. And when it does, senores... Let us hope there will be enough courage among the lot of you to make this fight worthwhile. Adios! Padre Felipe, thank God you are safe. Yes, child. And Senor Zorro, if you... You need not fear, Senorita. Padre, who is he? You must tell me. Lolita, my child, you must not ask me that. But why not, Padre? There is a bond between me and this man, Senorita. I cannot betray it. I do know the meaning of such a bond, Padre. What do you mean? I do feel it here in my heart. Chiquita, I did not know. Nor I, Padre, until I saw him in the closet today. When he saved you from the He was so fearless and so brave. I do not know what to say, senorita. It would do no harm to tell me his name. Please, Padre. Lolita, child. About Don Diego. Yes, Padre. I know. It is he I should know. But there is something which you do not know. Yes, Padre. I... The truth is, Lolita... No, Padre. Senor, oh, senor Zorro. Zorro. There is nothing about me you cannot discover in your heart, senorita. As for me... All I need know is what I have heard from your own lips. You shame me, Senor. You spoke too boldly. Senor, it was foolhardy of you to remain behind. Capitan Ramon and the soldier. Before I go, your hand, Senor. Oh, there is no time. You must hurry. But I shall be here to greet the captain when he comes. <laughs> no doubt they will cast me in a dungeon and leave me there for my bones to mold it. Oh, no, Senor. Oh, oh they're coming. Here, Senor, take my hand. Oh, that is better, Senor. Oh, Senor Zorro. With your love to protect me, no man can catch me now. Go. Please go. Adios, querida. May the saints keep you until I return. Can you go with God, Senor? After him! There he goes! A purse of gold for the man who captured Zorro! Oh, Padre. Padre. <laughs> Uh, 
In just a moment, we'll look ahead to the next exciting episode in The Adventures of Zorro. Wait a minute, Sergeant. I have a better plan. <laughs> we are going to outfox this Senor Fox. Be sure to be with us next time to find out about Captain Ramon's plan. Another thrill packed adventure of Zorro. The Adventures of Zorro was written for radio by Maria Little and directed by Robert M. Light. This program, transcribed in Hollywood, is a Mitchell Gertz production. <laughs>